Has practice been a little extra physical? Let's oh, yeah. Back. Yeah. Real physical, real. It's like a teaching moment. Like, after that loss, it was a teaching moment. And we had to understand how to play and, like, what to expect. What was the lesson then? Uh, just play hard. Play, give it all your, like, give it your all. Just do all the dirty work. That's really it. You guys have these couple of road losses, and A and M could have gone either way. But um, is that something you guys are talking about? Like you guys can go crazy at Rob, put up a hundred, whatever. But you guys have to, you know, buckle down and win in these tough environments. Yes, because we all Brent like Trey and Tone. They used to that. We're not used to that yet. So we still gotta um, build that confidence and build that uh, like build that mental to have during those tough road games because it's going to be like a lot of people there going against you and you got locked in with your teammates so that's what we just got to know and like remember is it tougher than people realize because like you know in these AAU games and prep games you know you guys even if you're on the road you know people are going to see you guys you you make a shifty play people are cheering for you nobody's really cheering for you out of South Carolina so like how how difficult is that for for all the freshmen uh it's real difficult because like you said it's like during AAU, like, most people that go to the AAU game is going to see that person. It's not really a team. You feel me? So, a lot of people going against one team is kind of, like, stressful. Like, like, it puts that, like, pressure on you. So, we just got to, like, be one. That's it. I think you had that, you know, moment at Florida. You know, you, you had those big plays late. Is that something, you know, that you can feed off of? Learning how to silence that crowd, yeah, make big plays in late moments? Yeah, that's something that uh, I feel like I could do more of if I play. Like what Coach Cal is telling me, just play. Like, don't stop because you make a mistake, just play. There's been some moments this season we've kind of battled foul trouble and, and you know, had maybe <coughs> a tough whistle. Um, I guess, how do you navigate that and what's that process been like of learning to stay on the court yeah. without picking up fouls? Move your feet. Yeah. You're not always going to get every good call. It's about how you respond to it. So the response is way more important than, like, picking up that foul. So if I get one foul, I try not to get a foul to, like, the second, like, later in the second. So just trying to put those pieces together. Is that something that the coaching staff has kind of helped you along Yeah, with? it's trying to help me. They've been talking to me a lot and telling me often, like, Play defense without fouling. Like that's it's, it sounds easy, but it's really hard. So he's just telling me on what to do and how to do it. Some of those fouls are kind of ticky tack, where you're just kind of going over the back and stuff like that. Is that a positioning thing that you just kind of got to learn more about? Or? It's more of a, a turn, trying to turn my aggression into like better. Cause like I'm, tr- I'm trying to get aggressive, because that's what I got to work on my aggression. So I'm trying to be more aggressive, but I got to learn how to use it. Instead of jumping over the foul, push somebody, get in a position like you just said. So, yeah. As far as shaking off these losses, what are some of the things that older guys like Trey or Antonio have been saying to you guys to, to kind of help you go through that? Uh, Just keep your head up. Like, just be who y'all are. It's it's a loss. Everybody loses. It's one, it's, it's one loss. On to the next. This is how we bounce back every single game that we play next. Going into tomorrow, you guys are both coming off of a loss, another tough road environment. How can you channel that like that hunger and that obviously you both wanting to go out there and come back, come get off those um, losing streaks. How can you channel that and go in there and have your best game? Uh, we got to go in as one because we, we got to do the little stuff first. So... If that means you gotta be at a certain place on a certain play, gotta be there. So you gotta, like I said, be one. We gotta start off hot, be the aggressors instead of like being pushing around and stuff like that. You gotta be the ones pushing. So if we do that, we'll we'll get the W. What do you see out of Arkansas? What did they do well as a team? Uh, everything actually. They're a really good team. I think they can shoot. We've got a lot of big bodies on there. I think Bay Fall, does he play for us? So yeah, he's a really good player. So they got a lot of good players up there. It'll be a really tough matchup, but we just gonna play, play basketball. With Big Z 
in the in the lineup with you all now that you've got three seven footers. How do, how have you seen that through two games kind of work with you and Ugo and just the rotations and just how it's, it's going, all kind of messed so far? It's going great because with me, I could play four or five. Z, you could play four or five. Ugo could play five. So it's kind of like we all do certain things good and we all do some, like a main thing good. So with Ugo, he blocks out. Z, he's like a passer, playmaker. I'm a finisher. So we all got our certain things that we do that make us who we are and make us the team that we are. You mentioned Arkansas can shoot the ball. You guys have kind of struggled in the past guarding the three. What's something you guys can do better in this game? Talk on switches, don't get split, and don't get pushed around. That's it. To that point, you all have emphasized pick and roll defense a little bit over the last couple of weeks. What, how have you seen that play out so far? Uh, this match has been playing real good, especially with Coach Kyle. He's been, like, really coaching, locking in and doing what he do best, figuring out ways where we can use our talents to our ability, like, to the best of our abilities. So he's just been putting in a lot of, like, pick and roll stuff with me, Ugo, and Z. So, yeah. It's been a little while since you guys have had, excuse me, a do on the court. Um, what are you looking forward to most about having him back and what kind of physical presence? Man, is going that's going to be a blessing because a dude do all the stuff that we need. He blocks shots, he goes for rebounds, he attacks the rim, and he can shoot. Okay, what nobody's saying, my man can shoot. Uh, how, are, how are you guys feeling? How was uh, practice getting back here in town? Uh, you know, practice after a loss is never easy. You know, everybody's on edge. Everybody wants to try to make those quick fixes that we can and and get ready for what's next. So we were definitely locked in yesterday. A lot of competing, a lot of going at each other. And that I think we're ready for what's to come. After looking at the tape, what's the, what's the focus been in practice so far? Um, right now it's just understanding the level of physicality that we need everywhere we go and just bring in that, that fight and that competitive edge in, in all situations, no matter what the environment is like. Since the game was slowed down just a bit against South Carolina, do you feel like, um, I guess, using size to your advantage going down to the post more, do you think that would have been a little bit more helpful just to? Um, you know, that's yeah. something that, that Cal brought up to us yesterday. He said that in those situations where where things just were breaking down how they were on offense for us, where we got to look inside a little bit more just because it, it slows the game down and it, and it makes the other team make different decisions with the with the size that we do have and the abilities that we do have. So just in those situations, it kind of calms everything down for us and gives us a new look. You guys have these back-to-back -back road losses, which isn't a huge deal because the A&M could have gone either way, but is that kind of a message for you guys too? Like, hey, we can drop 100 at Rupp, but we got to make our money on the road too in these tough environments. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's, it's not going to be easy anywhere we go because Everybody's home game against us is the biggest game on the schedule to them, to the fans, to to the environment. You know, there was an unbelievable energy down in South Carolina, and that's something that it was. It's newer for us to experience with the guys we have, but now we we kind of got our feet wet with it, and and we're getting used to it, and we understand more now than ever what's going to come when we're on the road. What are some of the things you've been saying to these younger guys who are, are new at going on the road and experiencing that kind of environment as you guys come off two losses and head into another road game? It's it's all about how connected we are. You know, there's times out there where you can't even hear yourself talk, let alone your teammate or a coach calling out what he wants us to do. So when somebody does pick up on what the coach saying, we have to relay it to everybody. We have to understand what we need and, and what we want through the possessions because there were some big possessions where we're down maybe one or two baskets, and we let the game get away from us there, and that's what created the biggest separation for us. It was just that lack of communication and that lack of being able to to calm down and, and let things develop and play the game the way we know we're capable of. A lot of teams are probably going to try and be more physical with you all moving forward. How do you counter that on the floor without getting away from what has got you all so you know, good to this point? Uh, you just have to be physical back. You have to set the tone early, and you have to keep that tone. You know, there's going to be teams that play absolutely out of their minds against us. We've seen it the entire year, and I really don't think that's going to change. So it's just a matter of letting those people know that, that we're here for 40 minutes, and we're going to be just as physical as we need to be. We're not going to back down from any scenario. What do you see out of Arkansas? 
What do you think that game's going to look like? Um, I'm sure it's going to get chippy. You know, on the road, is you're going to you're gonna hear probably some things you don't want to hear. But, but you know, it's, it's, it's more about us than it is about them because when we have things going and we're playing together, we're a really good team. And, and Arkansas is a really good team as well. So we know they, they play some small lineups sometimes, so there's going to be some adjustments we're going to have to make on the fly. But I don't think that there's anything they can throw at us that we haven't seen before and that we're not ready for. Reed got a little shy shooting the ball in that last game. What do you all say to him to, to, to maybe get him to, or what does he have to do even to get himself more looks and get himself going? You know, he just has to play his game. You know, everybody knows and, and Reed knows how his last game was, but it's just the fact that reminding him that he's a human being, you know, it happens. It happens. And regardless of that, that kid works his rear end off every single day. He puts the work in and, and I think you're going to see moving forward that, that he's going to rely on his craft on those moments. And whether that be me as a leader reminding him of that or, or him himself keeping him in that mindset, you know, I'm pretty close with Reed. So we we have an open dialogue all the time, regardless of whatever it is, and, and he listens. But I don't think you're going to see much more of that from him because he, he knows what he's capable of and what we need him to do. Did you say anything in particular after the South Carolina game to him about that? I mean, I just I just talked to him. It was just like, first, I just made sure he was all right. You know, that's, that's the first, that's the most important thing, make sure my guys are good. But it's just like, all right, it happened. Forget about it, move on to the next one. You know what you're capable of doing. So just, just trust yourself. It's been about a month since you guys have had a deal on the with you. Uh, what are you looking forward to most about having him back in and what can he bring to this team, maybe in the physicality department? The energy he brings, it's second to none. Some of the plays he makes are some really big plays, and, and it provides a spark for our team, and we feed off of that. On top of that, Adu is is one of the strongest people on this team, and and he's not afraid to get physical. He's not afraid to put his body on the line. I mean, that's that's part of the reason why he wasn't with us for a minute is because he was leaving absolutely everything out there and sacrificing himself for this team. So we're excited to get him back and, and looking forward to what he's going to bring. How do you feel the defense has played the last couple games for you all, and especially in like kind of the pick and roll defense too? I know that was a big emphasis. Yeah, I mean, obviously we we struggled a little bit, as as anyone could tell. We've we've had some mental slips along the way. You know, we I think we let up five or, or six dunks on out of bounds plays, and, and that's just a, a lack of awareness. You know, there's there's schemes that we stick to on our out of bounds plays that we weren't sticking to in the past two games. And it's just a matter of getting those corrected and, and staying locked in defensively, not not taking gambles. We take a lot of risks. Some guys are, are willing to, to risk a rotation to make a play, and you don't always always get that play when you're going against good players. So just a matter of staying solid, keeping the dudes in front of us, and, and not giving people advantages on the offensive end. What do you think of Big Z's uh, debut? I've I've never seen anything like it. I mean, you know, he he came out ready, ready to go, and obviously he's he's a young guy, and you saw last game that he still has some things to learn, as as do all of us. But he works hard and and he puts one foot in front of the other. I think he's going to be just fine.